Hi and welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Friday. Today we will look at something called what is a cap table. So a cap table basically is the capital structure of the company. So cap comes from capital word. It's a very popular terminology but a lot of founders uh, uh, get confused as to what is a cap table. So basically it consists of the capital structure broken into the complete details like who holds uh, what. So, so some of the components that you have one is the authorized capital of the company. I have not mentioned it in the example here but this is typically there in the document where the cap table is represented. So you give what is the authorized capital, how much capital is issued. Then you also give uh, the breakup of uh, each shareholder holds how much uh, uh, equity uh, based on the instrument type. So for example, if somebody is holding a, a series A shares or series B shares or, or a equity share or a CCD. So CCDs uh, are also represented in the cap table. So, so that's what it is. Uh, we'll look at a small example here. Basically the first uh, consists of uh, the uh, column number two, the name of the uh, each shareholder or uh, whether it, so I have just depicted it like founder 1, 2 but it has to come the actual names. Then the absolute number of shares that they hold as of date. So cap table is always on a specific date. Uh, the latest cap table uh, that shows the percentage holding and, and stuff. So you have to give the absolute number of equity shares or uh, any other category of shares or debenture that is being held by that person. And then what is the impact on the percentage ownership of the company. So although uh, uh, preference shares typically are not associated with voting rights, but uh, the way investors uh, do is like whenever it gets converted to equity, you calculate how much equity it would get converted to and that's how the voting rights are uh, controlled. Same thing goes with CCD whenever the debentures are converted to equity you have to look at what would be the percentage holding. So that's how you give a percentage holding. So that shows who's, how much the founders collectively control, how the investors are, how much, if you have already allocated an ESOP pool, then you give an entry. If the ESOP pool is not yet created, then that particular entry doesn't come. But at any point of time, that shows you the 100% holding of the company. So that's what is a cap table. That's it in this uh, video. Uh, if you have any queries, feel free to uh, drop us an email at hello at elagan.com. Thank you.